Hello, YouTube. Give me just a second to get my tech figured out here and wait for some people to hop on. I hope you're all doing well tonight. All right, I'll wait just another minute here, and then I will get started. Um, if you're joining me tonight, um, because Keith Herring um, had a lot of bright, colorful, uh, almost pop art-like pieces, I'm just going to use some Crayola markers and maybe some Sharpies. Here's some barking. That's just my dog. I have two of them and they're quiet all day. They only make noise if I'm on the live. Hi, Betty. Thanks for joining. I show three people here. If you're here, go ahead and say hello. Usually I have five or six, so maybe people will come a little bit late today. All right, so welcome. Uh, my name is Tara, and um, my company is called The Painted, C Painted Cicada. Um, I am a mixed media artist, and I focus on uh, healing and self-discovery through art journaling, but I also love to just have some fun in my art journal, and um, I also appreciate um, lots of art. So I love to do these artist inspiration uh, pieces. Um, kind of started the idea when I tried to replicate Starry Night, and I just kept doing it in different ways, and I thought, you know, um, this is just really fun. So anyway, tonight we focus on um, Keith Herring, who was an American painter um, who probably, uh, he came to his height of popularity in the 80s um, and early 90s. Uh, he made a lot of pop art. I don't know if it's pop art so much as graffiti art and modern art. Um, he had cartoon-like paintings and drawings. Uh, if you signed up for the event and got a link, you got some samples of his. Um, and so tonight, uh, what I want you to focus on um, is just look at a few of his pieces. Um, and instead of trying to replicate them, maybe come up with your own fun shapes. So. Um, just a disclaimer, just be aware that Keith Haring um, made a lot of art, uh, a lot of um, art with messages about AIDS, drugs, apartheid, um, and sexuality. So some of his work might not be PG. Um, it is all cartoon work. 
but just want to throw that out there if anybody is looking stuff up around their children. Okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to do first, um, I'm just going to have some fun with shapes. Looks like we've got a small crew tonight. So if you have questions, feel free to let me know. I'm just going to create kind of a horizon line. Separate the bottom from the top here. And then um, I need to decide. I'm probably going to make a human-like shape. He also did kind of some wolf shapes. Um, and I'm just going to, I mean, I guess we're just kind of drawing a cartoony thing. So um, I cannot wait to see what you guys make, your take on piece herring. When I do my artist inspiration, I like to look up some pieces. That's why I give you the samples. But then I get the impression of his work, the impression of um, the art. And then I don't look at it while I'm creating. That way I'm not copying. Um, I'm just kind of recreating based on my impression and that feeling. So I know he does a lot of like easy stick figure-y kind of people. So that is what I'm going to start with. And I'm just going to sketch it all out in pencil and then I'm going to fill it in here uh, with my markers. This is really weird for me because I am not a cartoony. <laughs> type of artist, but just trying to get something on paper here. Kind of thinking of, I don't know, this reminds me of like Gumby. Does anybody remember? Is anybody old enough to remember Gumby or did I just age myself? We've got a quiet, quiet room tonight, quiet YouTube. I think I had about 10 people sign up for information, so maybe people are just outside enjoying the springtime. Use goofy hands. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Does anybody really? I don't know. Okay. Probably should have had a guest artist help me tonight because this, this is just goofiness. But if I've learned anything, it is don't be hard on yourself and just create. Oh, Betty remembers Gumby. That's awesome. I'll have to make sure I don't make my people green. I don't want them to go too Gumby. <laughs> So, I don't know. I would think, um, personally, I feel like uh, Keith, Keith Herring was um, very involved in current events and making statements. And I would think that, um, you know, even though he was very passionate about his message about AIDS and drugs, um, 
I'm sure if he were alive today, he would have a lot to say about our current events. He'd probably make a, a mask painting of some sort. COVID painting. Maybe that's what I'll go with. I'll make some cartoony COVIDs. So I'm just kind of sketching in my idea and then I'm going to go all over all of this with a black Sharpie because that was very much his look was strong black outlines and bright colors. So I've got kind of a basic sketch here. I'm not going to go too busy um, in my piece. And I'm just going to go over my lines with the black Sharpie here. Kind of simplifying what I have. Really, you could be making anything right now um, with this, you know, strong black graffiti like outline, and it would translate uh, to the lesson here. So don't feel like you have to do what I'm doing. Another um, kind of common theme in his work are these um, kind of fun movement lines. So I'm gonna put some of them in there. Um, he liked to use these a lot. So just have fun with it. Think pop art, think bright colors, strong black outlines, um, possibly a social or political message, and it will translate to Keith Haring. And the idea with these artist inspirations is just to take a few minutes of your day um, create something that you may not have otherwise created, try something new, try a different style. They're very loose. Um, I call them artist inspiration lessons, but it's more like uh, just taking time 
to appreciate an artist and look into their style a little bit. There's no right or wrong, there's no rules. Erasing a few of my pencil outlines. I'm not too worried about them since I'm just learning, working in my journal. This baby's not getting framed or anything. Oops. I erase. It's like I have an earthquake around here. All right, now I get to do the fun part, which is just um, adding some color. Whenever I think of key pairing, um, my mind immediately goes to Nickelodeon in the early 90s. And I think a lot of, um, and they talked a lot about AIDS and at that, you know, at that time, there was, AIDS was kind of at the height of its, um, I don't want to say popularity, not popularity, the height of its epidemic, I guess. And I just remember they had a special with Michael Jordan. And I remember there was a little girl who had AIDS and she, you know, obviously um, being just a child uh, is very difficult on her. I always remember uh, she just was crying on TV because she just wanted to be accepted. She just wanted people to not be afraid of her. So um, I remember that Keith Herring's art was a part of that special. So this is a little nostalgia for me, I suppose. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. It's been a really long time since I sat down and actually just colored in a picture. I forgot how therapeutic it can be. using I think I'm my journal is a watercolor notebook and this paper is very absorbent it's just drying out this marker like crazy
All right, my friends, I think this is all I have. Ooh. Since I made this a COVID thing, I might as well. Give these people some masks, right? Since that was our life during COVID. This is all I have for you tonight. Um, this was one of the obviously easier, um, less involved artist inspirations, but I hope um, it encouraged you, inspired you to look up an artist that you would not normally recreate a piece of theirs and just do something fun, get out your art supplies, try something new. Um, and if you created with me either live, I know there's only a few of you live tonight or on the replay, which happens often, I would love to see your pieces. So please post those. Thank you, Betty. I'm so glad you joined me. Sorry it was so quiet. Um, but please share your work with me by um, either posting on Facebook or Twitter or Insta, tagging the Painted Cicada, um, or we have a Painted Cicada artist group, which you can find uh, right through the Facebook page. So have a great night, and I can't see what you create.